everyone, and welcome to another episode of Marius History Talks. I um, had another viewer submit a request for an episode, which I encourage you to keep sending them in, uh, regarding an old Macedonian folk song, one that you've probably danced to or have heard of at least once in your life. And uh, the person who was submitting this request wanted to know the history behind the song and uh, who or what it was about and uh, how factual it actually was. What's interesting about this song, though, is, uh, like I said, most Macedonians have heard it, but they're actually a little bit wrong about it. Um, listening to the song, you can get the gist that it's about a Macedonian who was betrayed, uh, tortured, and eventually executed. But most Macedonians assume it was at the hands of the Turks, whereas uh, in reality, it's a little bit different. So let's dive in. The Macedonian uh, reference in the song is a person by the name of Alexander Karagule. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of information about him when he was born. We know he was born in Ohrid, as referenced in the song. And he basically lived in uh, Sofia at the time, like many Macedonians did to um, work from the outside in terms of freeing Macedonia. And in Sofia, he was a Macedonian human, human rights activist and a revolutionary. He was the editor-in-chief of a Macedonian newspaper called the Macedonian Voice. And uh, the voice basically uh, was a call to arms for Macedonians to not only unite, but unite for an armed struggle against the Ottoman Empire on a national basis. Now, this attracted the attention of the Bulgarians in a couple of reasons. Uh, firstly, he was against the Bulgarian Exarchate Church, the National Church of the Bulgarians, founded in 1870. And this basically was a propaganda center for Macedonians to become Bulgarians. The church is what funded all educational, religious, spiritual, cultural, uh, programs in Macedonia with the aim of making them into proud Bulgarians. And a lot of Macedonians uh, that started having a national awakening of sorts um, saw this as dangerous. Uh, they saw that their language wasn't being taught in schools, that it was a very Eastern Bulgarian dialect, that their uh, national figures, historical figures, weren't uh, being discussed at all. And it was very oppressive. So um, Alexander was, in effect, against the Exarchate. He wanted more Macedonian representation in the church, if not a full-on um, breaking away from it to further Macedonian interests. Uh, but besides that, he also wanted a grassroots internal Macedonian revolution. And this caught the attention of the Macedonian supremacists, or the Verhovisti, which were kind of the antithesis to Vamaro. They were a group of uh, largely Macedonian emigres living in Bulgaria, that has since uh, basically adopted a Bulgarian national consciousness and uh, worked in hand with the Bulgarian government to liberate Macedonia, but eventually have it attached to Bulgaria as part of a greater Bulgaria. And uh, they were very oppressive against the, the Vomorovsi, who were more grassroots internal regional Macedonians. Uh, these were basically, um, had a very paternalistic attitude against them, saying, you don't know what you're doing, let us handle it, let us do the financing, and let us just take over the revolution in Macedonia. So the Vomorovsi, though, a lot of them wanted an autonomous Macedonia uh, within the confines of a Balkan federation, but separate from Bulgaria, because they saw that even if they were part of the same church, their identity was separate from the Bulgarians. Like the, the, the cleavage just started at this point. So by these two facets alone, he was already a dangerous threat to the Bulgarian government, who for a thousand years had been promulgating the idea, the ridiculous idea that Macedonians were a Bulgarian people, which I'll debunk thoroughly in another video. So he was in prison on July 8, 1892. And uh, along with other Macedonians, and some Bulgarians actually, they were critical of the Stambolski government. And uh, he was, according to articles in Bulgaria after his death, was beaten with sandbags. So there was a lot of internal bleeding. Uh, he was left without food in these dark, wet dungeons for days on end. Uh, beaten savagely. We call it in the, in the song... Uh, like a beast. I mean, he lost his humanity. And when he saw that basically he had no chance of surviving, legend says that he penned the song about himself. It's sung in the first person. And the last line of the song is something I think uh, we all need to hear today, uh, given all the turmoil in Macedonia. In the last line of the song, he pleads with the listener to basically just plant some assorted uh, beautiful flowers on top of his grave so that little girls would be able to decorate their hair in happier times. What he's basically saying here is, um, despite all the agony, all the suffering that he endured, he still expected that better tomorrow. He knew that his death would give rise to it, it would plant the seed for it, metaphorically represented by the flowers, something that the future generation would be able to tangibly hold on to. But he also knew this is not something he'd ever get to experience, this is not something he'd ever get to see firsthand. So he had the long-term view as well. 
And if you look at Macedonian history, I mean, we've been fighting for independence since the, the Roman Wars. And uh, the long-term view is something we need to have as well. Uh, we have to realize that our deeds may not uh, produce the fruits of our labor in our lifetime. Uh, this is something we need to take into account. So we need to make sure that um, we act bravely, nobly, and with the best interests of our land and people at heart. Because if we do that, then our actions will have a reverberating impact throughout the centuries. And future generations will learn from us. And it's our duty to make sure they learn from the best within us. So thank you for listening again. And if you have any questions or comments about a further episode, please feel free to drop me a line. In the meantime, stay safe. Keep fighting for Macedonia. Thank you.